Okay, as part of our little group, we were looking at feedback and uh, thinking about ways of using feedback as, in a, as a practical tool in PE lessons. Our schemes of work um, currently have QR codes at the bottom of each particular sport and they correspond to various little discrete skills and techniques that we can use. And Heidi got together and managed to put together a list or, or posters, for want of a better description, of all the QR codes for each discrete sport and put them in relevant places around the school, like the inside of the sports hall um, store cupboard, in the outdoor container, and there's two shots there. And she also then produced a staff handbook of all the QR codes that goes in our valuables and first aid box that we take out to the field. The idea behind this is um, students would use the QR codes, would go out onto the field, use the iPads, and download a video of a particular skill being um, demonstrated. This then enabled them to watch, in small groups, an expert, other than the teacher themselves, repeatedly go through a particular technique. The benefit of this is it's then showing them the correct technique at a pace at which they want to be shown. It's just not one or two demonstrations by the teacher at the beginning of the lesson. The pupils themselves can go away and they can watch this five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times ad infinitum. We also found, or I certainly also found, that if we had one performer and one person with a QR code, you could then ask the person who's watching the skill done on the YouTube channel of the correct technique being done, they are then giving the students, the performers themselves, really quite detailed feedback about body position, body shape, angle of release, whatever particular skill or technique you're looking at. This has, a, has an impact on them because they really then have to start verbalising what it is that they want them to do. Um, it also means that they really sort of like get really close detail and close inspection of, of whatever activities they're doing. Now, I found that this had a number of impacts. First of all, because it was self-paced, it became automatically differentiated. The students were able to move on as quickly or as slowly as they saw fit. It enabled me to then go and talk to um, individuals on a, uh, sorry, pupils on an individual basis and give them more uh, detailed feedback, get them to actually stand in the right position and so on. And it, it ultimately meant that I had more time to spend one-on-one -on -one with the students rather than necessarily gathering, gathering them all back together at various points through the lesson um, r until right to the very end when we had a plenary and I would ask them, right, what are the key points? And that every lesson that I've used this for it was really detailed. The feedback was absolutely superb from them. They all really enjoyed it because they could watch it over and over again. They could pause it, they could rewind, they could watch the whole thing over. And it really made them engage in conversation with each other about what was good and bad feedback. Um, and that's effectively it. <laughs>